Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft. So in the last one we went on a bit of a boss run in the Twilight Forest and then we died because I can't have nice things apparently. That's just not a thing I can have anymore. So we're going to go off and kill the Hydra and then we're going to get on with making some stuff with the Division Sigil. So that sounds fun. Let's get to it. Okay, so I've done too much since the last one. Uh, remade all of my armor again. God damn it. That took freaking forever. Um, added a couple of things, put up some uh, trophies. There we can see we're missing one. We need that Hydra one. Yeah. Um, I also made this thing, which is really cool looking. It is the Digital Miner. And I kind of need that because I kind of run out of uh, resources whilst building my uh, armor suit back up. So that is actually kind of expensive to make. Uh, if I look up Digital Miner, it requires about 10 diamonds or so to make this thing. It's really friggin' expensive. Well, it's not too bad, I guess. Because diamonds are pretty easy to come by these days, but yeah, so we need atomic cores which got diamonds in them and obsidian dust. And we these logistical things which got control circuits in, we teleportation cores which require two atomic cores with the diamonds in each one and a diamond in it as well, and then the robots which also has another atomic core and obsidian ingots and that <laughs> and all that stuff. But yeah. Uh this thing is pretty awesome once you eventually make it. It's not too bad to make, I guess. Um this thing's a little complicated to use though. Uh, essentially, this thing will dig ores out of the world, but it won't just dig like a big pit. It won't dig out everything around it. Um, so you have to kind of configure this thing as you go along. So I stop and reset that. You have to stop and reset it every time you want to mess with it. And go to config. So this thing won't essentially do anything until you put filters in it. And what I've told it to do is... Uh, I can't remember what I'm digging up. I'm digging up loads of different things. Um, but basically, you go into ore dictionary here, and you just kind of type in what you want to dig up. So if I wanted to dig up... Osmium. Yeah, I just want generic osmium ore. So I could just type or osmium and that should dig up all the osmium ore. So I should do it in the ore dictionary filter. It should just twig that. Yep. And any other types? Nope, just the normal one. Cool, that's fine. Uh, there is a lot of different ways you can do this thing. For example, if I wanted to dig up everything with uh, ore in the name, I could type ore star. And that will dig up absolutely everything with or in the name. Or no, it won't because I've done that wrong. Sorry, star or star. Save. Anything with or in the name, it's now going to dig up, which is kind of cool, but really not that useful. That's not something you want to do because then it will dig up things like my Eulorium fuel cores or things like that. Yeah, no, don't want to dig up everything with or in the name because there's plenty of stuff around here that has or in the name somewhere, which I kind of want to keep. So yeah, I want to be a bit careful with this thing, otherwise you'll uh, end up digging up everything you love and care about. And I think there is actually a way that you can just dig up all those. I think it's like Star or something like that. Something like that. One of the things. Or is that just giving... What the hell is that trying to dig up? I have no idea. Yeah, this thing's uh, something you kind of want to mess around with. Um, and you can also set the radius. So this is probably set to 32, so it's going to do a 64 by 64 area, which is pretty cool. Uh, I think 32 is the maximum you can go to. And then there's minimum, which is the minimum depth that it will dig to. So zero is uh, the bottom layer of bedrock, so obviously nothing's going to go beyond there. And the maximum height you want to go to, which is 60 at the moment, because there's not really any ores above here. So yeah. Pretty cool, and you can also tell it to auto eject, which you want to do because that'll uh, output all the items out of the back slot here. It'll only ever output items out of this back slot here. You can put in power wherever you want, which is kind of fun. Um, and then you can also tell it to silk touch things, which is also very nice. So you can get like the uh, the raw redstone ore rather than getting redstone dust when you mine it. So you know that's useful because if I put that through my uh, enrichment chamber, that'll give me 12 redstone per ore, which is pretty nice. And what else? Uh, also, when you're configuring things, sometimes things won't quite work if it's a bit of a random ore um, by type in or whatever. Um, so what you're going to want to do is use this item stack option rather than the ore dictionary one. And you just put in whatever ore you want to mine in there. And for a couple of ones that are a bit different, for example, uh, I don't know, I was trying this thing out with a uh, redstone. I made this combiner. Now, essentially, you could just put some stone in here, um, some cobblestone and whatever it is that your ore is made out of and that'll just kind of make you one of the original ore blocks so say, I don't know, I wanted to do it for, uh, I did it for sort of Certus Quartz as well seeing as that doesn't give you the ore when you mine it, it gives you the shards and the dust so I could put some Certus Quartz in there and some stone and it'll make you a Certus Quartz block which I can then put in to the item stack one, put in there and it'll know exactly what it wants to dig up 
Awesome. So that is the digital miner. It's kind of fun and you need to mess around with it quite a lot just to make sure you're getting everything. Uh, yeah, so that'll just kind of dig me those things out of the ground. So let's start this thing up again. You can see it's got 193 left to mine out of the things I've taught to mine. I haven't taught to mine everything because there's only certain things I needed. And uh, I don't think this is going to be my final law production. I'm going to set up something a bit cooler, which is uh, going to require a lot of power. But we'll get into that quite a bit later, I think. Uh, yeah, so also, as you can see, our Twilight Forest portal is gone because I never want to go there ever again. I refuse. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I just made a uh, portal over here. So let's go and kill the Hydra. Aha, here we go. This is where we want to be. This place is lovely. I found this place whilst wandering around trying to look for my stuff in the last one. Uh, this biome is really cool. It's a fire swamp. That was it. I forgot what it was called. Uh, it has some cool stuff in it, like these things. These are smoking blocks. And oh god, I forgot there's lava underneath this biome. Wow, okay, dokey. I thought it nearly ended badly. Well, I say ended badly. It's not like lava's actually a big deal to us with this armor. Just sitting here all day. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, I might not avoid the heat though. Um, so yeah, the, these uh, smoking blocks are pretty fun because they kind of set on fire. And I should really be. Uh, be more careful about gathering these things. Let's grab some uh, stone out of our sorting system. Oh, what the? What? Oh, go away, man. And a man, 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 not all. That one. Uh, stone. Uh, just give me some cobblestone so I can get some of these uh, smoking blocks out. Uh, yes, open the pouch. Thank you. Uh, yeah, the smoking blocks are pretty fun. They're kind of like the uh, things we've got on top of our um, factory on the uh, the chimney. But I'm pretty sure that these things will actually kind of shoot out bursts of fire if you hook it up to a redstone signal. Actually, I should be able to test that. Uh, if I grab a lever or something, what the fuck was that? Oh, yep, yeah, there it goes. Yes, it, they definitely shoot out fire. So if I hook a redstone signal up to these and stick them on... Whoa! Fucking hell. That was a bit close. <laughs> Chill smoking block. Jesus. Uh, yeah, so if I uh, hook up a redstone signal and stick these on top of my factory, then we can have... A factory that shoots fire, because why the hell not? That sounds awesome to me. Fire is cool. Uh, oh god, don't stand directly on top of it. Just grab it. No, fuck. Ah, okay, I see. It was fire jets, not uh, the smoking blocks. My bad, so I guess the uh, smoking blocks actually just spread out smoke. That's fine. Go away, white beard. Don't want you. You're a smoking block. Okay, so we need to look for the fire jets specifically. Ah, so it's the ones that aren't shooting out fire. Fair enough. Aren't shooting out smoke even. That's the one. Cool, all the same, I want fire, because fire is awesome. Um, I'll probably you know, grab some more of these as I go along. Anyway, let's go fight the Hydra. So uh, when you're looking for the Hydra, you're looking for this thing, which is a yeah, big empty hill with a hole in it. That is the Hydra lair. So let's go say hello. Hello Hydra, how the devil are you? Have some death in your face, please. Repeated death in and around your face. You've got a head gone already. And death to your face, death to your face, death to your face, death to your face. To your face. Whoa. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you spawned two extra heads. Awesome. There we go. There's another head gone. Oh, shit. Nope. Away with the fire. Thank you. How many heads are you up to now? Oh, that. yeah, you're looking good. Five heads. Awesome. Just uh, keep killing some heads. Death to your head, please, sir. Come yeah, on. Come yeah, on. Don't be bitch. I kill you. Yeah, the Hydra's not too bad to deal with, I suppose, and with this level of armor, it's just kind of slightly pathetically easy. You can just kind of wail on him, but, you know, it's still fun, because it's a freaking Hydra. Why the hell not? Um, yeah, so if you wouldn't mind dying pretty soon, that'd be, uh, that'd be awesome. That'd be great. Just kind of keep beating you wherever it seems to be taking damage. Da -da 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 -da. Does the body actually take damage? I don't know if the body takes damage. It yeah, seems... No, actually, I don't think it is. We actually do have to hit the heads. Come on. Death to your heads. There we go. That looks like the end of you, sir. Oh, hello. Uh, hi. You alright? You're a light mage or a dark mage? Well, I don't care. You're trying to kill me, so... Um, there we go. <laughs> Bit of a lag there. I guess because the uh, Hydra was just dying there. Fair enough. How long did you give me? A couple of these things. These are claws, right? Yeah, from Darkcraft. And a bunch of other crap. Awesome. Hydra chops. Cool. Is that just like food? Or is there a specific use for those? Uh, and that's all mine chem stuff, so I guess they're just food? Maybe? Hmm. Yeah, cool. Uh, another miniature yellow heart for the mid level heart canisters, which I do have equipped actually, but for some reason my hearts aren't regenerating properly. That's odd. Ah, whatever. And Hydra trophy. Yeah. 
That's the main thing we wanted. We just wanted to be a ballast and have a Hydra Trophy. And apparently there's supposed to be some cool stuff in here. Ooh, and we got some of that as well. Ah, more fiery blood. You can make that, uh, fiery armor and fiery tools and stuff. It's not a big deal to me, but, wow, I am lagging out hard, apparently. And, yeah, there's supposed to be some cool stuff around here. We've got some gold, some redstone. Actually, if this is on vein mode, it should be. Might as well grab this redstone, because I'm... Well, I'm not really low on it, I suppose. Not anymore. Because most of it's just going into uh, the liquid redstone, but, you know, grab it all anyway. It's free. Why the hell not? And random glowstone. That's kind of fun. Ah, uh, home swolag. Home swolag. Yep, that's a word. Yeah. Uh, actually, I meant to get some more fire jets, didn't I? I wonder if they have any other use. We can make encased fire jet. Okay. Um, yeah, actually, I kind of want to check if they will set fire with a redstone signal. Maybe you have to make them into an encased fire jet. Uh, let's make a lever or some uh, a low low either. A lever to check, or a button, or a something, just anything. Yeah, lever already awesome. Uh, fire jet, cool. Uh, let's go and stick this out here. Doing it inside is probably not a good idea. Wipe that down and lever. Hmm, maybe not then. Maybe I do need to make it into to in the case fire jet. Eh, whatever. I'll figure that out later. Uh, so what I want to get on to today is stuff with the division sigil. Uh, let's get all that crap out of the way. Oh, let's go stick our hydro trophy up first. I probably will make a proper trophy room for this, but for now, that'll do. Awesome. Uh, yeah, so division sigil. This thing is kind of fun. And I'm going to be removing all of my armor and stuff while I do this thing. Because it's um, a little bit dangerous. Yeah, definitely a little bit dangerous. Uh, oh wait, no, I don't need to do that yet. What am I on about? I need all that armor back. Oh, whatever. Uh, so, Division Sigil, because I need to activate the thing first. I was thinking of the wrong thing. So, yeah, first I must perform the activation ritual, for which we will need an enchanting table. Enchanting table, that's not the thing, it's down here. Enchanting. I sort of separated these two things out, that's why the uh, all the U UI is a little bit smaller to fit this thing on, but, yeah, it's a lot more useful doing it around this way. Uh, what was it? It's some kind of enchant thing. Is it enchantment? That's the one. Uh, diamonds, book, obsidian should have all that. Awesome. Enchantment table. Done. And then, yeah, I need all that armor back. Uh, where do I want to do this thing? I don't want to do it there. That's just silly. And there's uh, a big hole underneath that, so that wouldn't help either. Um, hmm. Maybe out here. Yeah, about here would be good, I think. Uh, just want somewhere nice and reasonably flat, I think. Um, I could sort of contain this somehow, but... Eh, screw it, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, actually up here looks good. This looks fine. Let's whack that down there and shift right click uh, this thing with the division sigil. And we need a redstone circle. I forgot about that. Let's go and grab some redstone. Holy crap! <laughs> Jesus! Um, yeah. Okay. I did actually accidentally end up making all of my redstone into uh, this stuff at one point. So I sort of messed around with the, uh, the automation up here, and I told I forgot to put the uh, redstone back in here, so it wasn't paying attention to anything. So it just turned all of it into that stuff. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm, that's completely off topic. Doesn't even matter. <laughs> uh, I get so distracted in these things. Um, where did I put my enchantment table? Ah, there it is. Cool. I need a redstone circle around this thing. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, nope, ding. Zombie, what are you doing? Stop it. Go away. I don't need you right now. Maybe later. There we go. Redstone circle. And what else? Uh, yep, 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 yep. Okay, cool. Uh, so now we need some sort of being to sacrifice. So I, I think I'm going to grab a lead. Actually, let's make a golden lasso. I think that would be more fun. You have Mr. T on your butt. Well, you're getting sacrificed now. Sucks to be you. And then I just need to wait for midnight. And I've lost my enchantment table again. There it is. Uh, so, ooh, we're close. Uh, as soon as it hits midnight, this division sigil will light up. Letting us know that it's time to make the sacrifice. And then we have to be ready. Very, very ready. For shit to go down. Yeah. Pretty sure one of these zombies will do fine. Oh my god, it was ready. Fuck. Okay, it's time to go, time to go, time to go, time to go. Dig all this crap. Go away, you go away. <laughs> okay then. 
I did not think it was uh, going to be midnight yet, but apparently I just accidentally timed that right, and it was time. Um, I will explain what this is in a second. Oh, God, go away. You fuck off and you die. Uh, I need to grab as much of this stuff. Oh, you bastard creeper. You utter, utter bastard. I need this stuff. God damn it, you prick. Uh, carry on digging all that stuff up. You go away, zombie. You just fuck right off. Uh, dig, 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 dig. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm collecting all of the purple stuff. And did I get all of it? Uh, almost all of it. There's some there. Need some of that, please. And I think I've got all of it. Sweet. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That was uh, pretty easy, actually. That was pretty good. I like it. I like it a lot. You guys go away. I'll grab my enchantment table back here as well. And in a bit, guys. Okay. So, what happened there was uh, that little ritual made that purple stuff. Which is Cursed Earth. And how much did I get of it? Oh, I am such a fucking bell end. I did not use a silk touch shovel, therefore, I didn't get the Cursed Earth. Fuck! Okay, so I need the silk touch shovel. Um, and I think how I'm going to do that is I'm going to briefly dive in to Tinker's Construct. Um, which is a pretty cool mod. Um, I generally consider it a bit more early game than we are right now, which is why I kind of didn't go into it. Um, but it is very cool, makes some very cool uh, tools and stuff like that. Uh, we're just going to go into it very briefly, because generally I don't really need anything else from it apart from to make a silk touch thing. So let's make a bunch of blank patterns. That's the first thing we're needing. What's we needing a tool station. I want one of them. A part builder. I want one of them. And a stencil table. I want one of them. Awesome. And then we we'll need those blank patterns back. Thank you. Job done. Cool. Uh, so let's wet down the part builder and the stencil table and the tool station. Cool. Stencil table is the first thing you're going to use. You want blank patterns in there. And first thing we want is a tool rod and we want a shovel head. Cool. And then we can go straight over to the part builder and build these things. So we only need a stick for the uh, the tool rod. That's that done. And we can make a thormium shovel head. Now this doesn't require a smeltery. There is a big multi-block thing in uh, Tinker's Construct called a smeltery, which is very cool. Uh, but it's generally for making more advanced stuff and it adds a ton of crazy alloys and stuff as well. It's really cool. But thankfully we don't really want to build a smeltery because, you know, to be honest, it takes time and I don't really want to get into Tinker's Construct too much. So I'm just going to use Thormium because that apparently doesn't need a smeltery, even though it's a metal. So I'm not going to complain. There we go. We have a Thormic Shovel. Awesome. But that's not going to do an awful lot by itself. Uh, we want to add some stuff to it to turn it into um, a Silk Touch Shovel. And that's the main thing that is quite cool about Tinker's Construct. You can just add things to tools and it'll do different things. So... What I need is a silky something or other, silky gem, silky jewel, I think that's the one. Uh, so to make a silky jewel, I need four silky cloth around an emerald. Okay. And silky cloth is string around gold. Cool. That I can probably do. Uh, so let's see if I can make that. Boop. And gold. Do I really not have any gold nuggets? I do have gold nuggets. You lied to me. One, two, three, four. Cool. Lock them in there. Never around an emerald, silky jewel, done. And let's whack this in the tool station. So chuck our shovel in there, chuck the silky jewel in there. Boom, we have silk touching right now. Awesome. And actually, I could rename this thing if I wanted to, which, you know, is fun. So, uh, silky, silky. There we go. Oh, no, I didn't rename it because I didn't add anything to it. Oh, well. Uh, actually, I'm going to increase the speed of this thing, too. So I'm just going to make, um, actually no, I don't even need to do that. Uh, let's just whack some redstone in here. That works as a good, uh, well it works to let you add speed to it. Redstone down there increases mining speed. Awesome. And now we should be able to rename it. Silky. Silky. Now, yeah, now I've renamed it because I added something to it. Cool. So let's just do that a fair few times. Put down the horse. Kill the horse. Boom. All right, let's do this thing again. Grab all of the dirt and do it properly this time. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Wait, what? Ritual activation failure. Well, it worked, so fuck you. <laughs> well, it got me what I wanted anyway. That's all I care about. This wonderful, wonderful, wonderful cursor. Thank God I had a spare division sigil. 
because that would have been really annoying if I'd used up my only one. God damn it, creeper. Yeah, if I'd used up my only one and not got all the cursed stuff from it, I would have been pissed. And then I would have had to go through more dungeons and all that fun stuff. But, you know, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, the point in getting this cursed earth is um, pretty much the reason that we're getting effed up by all these mobs. Uh, cursed earth actually lets you spawn mobs at an incredible rate. And it doesn't care about how close you are either, which is the main reason I want it. Because uh, if you remember when I built my blaze farm, um, I actually built too far away from where I was going to be around most of the time. Uh, oh god, I'm about to die. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it wasn't going to spawn blazes the first time I built it, which was kind of a pain because I really wanted it to spawn blazes all the time. So I had to put it under my base and, you know, had to do all the sand blazes for the next 20 friggin' episodes, etc. So if I put this cursed earth um, around in a certain place, then I will essentially just be able to spawn as many mobs as I want all the time, which is sweet. Something I'd definitely like to do. And dear god, I am taking a lot of damage. This is annoying. I shouldn't be taking that much damage. Ah, well, whatever. And creeps are going mental. Uh, how much cursed death have I got? Uh, I've got a couple of... Oh, I've got a bit. I, I need more than that. I need a lot more than that. And I would like to not die while doing so. Jesus Christ. I think I need more food. Let's go grab some more food. God damn it. Um, well, it'll probably be enough cursed earth, but I kind of want to get as much as I can. You need to get this stuff quickly and while you can. That's why I'm not really fighting much and just kind of letting it do its thing. Because uh, as soon as sunlight hits this cursed earth, it is going to go. It's just going to, you know, burn up. That's it. It's gone. So you really need to get it quickly. So yay, cursed earth. I can make some pretty good uh, mob farms with this stuff. Because as you can see, it just spawns crap everywhere. So I can pretty much just um, lay this down and get a ton of, you know, gunpowder and bones and all that kind of stuff. Set up some mob grinders. Job done. So I don't really need separate spawners for everyone, which is pretty nice. And if I then put one in, you know, the uh, the end, I could do one for endermen. And if I put one in the nether, I'd be able to do one for uh, blazes and uh, slimes and magma slimes and uh, pigmen. All that fun stuff. Actually, put one in a uh, nether porch. I might be able to do one for um, that would do wither skeletons as well. And I died. Awesome. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Why, why am I back here? Did I not sleep in my bed recently? Or maybe I tore up my bed. I don't know. Um, anyway, I'm, I can pretty much just wait for morning now and go and get my grave afterwards. Let the rest of that cursed earth burn up because I think I've pretty much got all the all of it that I need. So that should be fine. And. I can't remember how... I, there isn't really a way to get back into my base. <laughs> I sense a slight design flaw in this. There isn't actually a way for me to get back in if I am out here without my jetpack. Unless I make a jump. Uh, oh, made it. Okay. <laughs> Best entrance ever. Come fly with me. Come fly with me. Let's fly. Let's fly away. Here you can see it burning up there. There it goes. Bye bye cursed earth. Ta-da! Well, I should have got absolutely plenty. I think I've got about two stacks, maybe, or so. Which should be more than enough for what I want to do. But, you know, if I can get a bit more, that would always be nice. Certainly wouldn't complain. Uh, right, where's my grave? There it is. Nah, it's going to all burn away before I can get to it, I think. Oh, well. Oh, I really shouldn't do that. Well, there's fire underneath it. That's not a good idea. Yeah, on. Break, 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 break. There we go. Oh, I think I lost something. Oh, bugger. Uh, where is my shovel? No, it isn't. Ow. Shovel, shovel, shovel. Shovel, shovel, shovel. Let's grab some more of this while I can. Save you. I'm saving you from the burningness of death. What the fuck? Fucking Amory zombie. I forgot to put my uh, arm back on, didn't I? God damn it. <laughs> oh, God. Armor. That's a thing. That helps. I swear, every single episode I'm dying. It's great. And I think I got all of it. Awesome. Cool, that's a ton of cursed earth for me that I can mess around with and make some automated spawners and killing things and stuff. Sweet. All of the mob drops for me. Okay, let's get rid of all those crap that I don't need. Um, so, the other reason that we want to do that, apart from getting the cursed earth, which was the main thing I wanted, I think, um, we also wanted to activate the division sigil. Because that's important. And we want to make something very specific with this. 
And this is why I was saying I should take off my arm before to make what I'm going to make. So I'm going to get everything ready and then go and make some stuff. Okay, I've got everything that I need and we're just about ready. I've made myself a little bit of a safe room down here. Don't know how entirely necessary this is, but um, yeah, I've made myself an obsidian room with a crafting table because this recipe only works with a normal crafting table. And what we are going to do is take our iron and our diamonds. We're going to divide iron by diamond. Yeah, and this makes unstable ingots, which will explode after 10 seconds as soon as we craft them. Or if I close the window. Or if I drop them on the ground. Or many other things. So, yeah, this um, will hopefully go well. <laughs> so we need to make some unstable ingots. And the reason we're actually doing this is to make a portal to the deep dark. Uh, which requires triple compressed cobblestone and quadruple compressed cobblestone. You remember when I said that I had no idea um, why I would ever need so much cobblestone? Well, this is why. So I need to get these unstable ingots and craft this thing within 10 seconds. Otherwise, I'm going to explode. Okay, let's do this thing. And three, two, one, go. Grab all the things, chuck it out of there. You, 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 you. You go there. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. You go there, you go there, you go. Oh, fuck, fuck. No, no. D that's not right. Oh, they haven't exploded. Um, that triple, quadruple, triple, unstable lingers. Triple, quadruple, all the others are triple. Unstable ingots. I'm gonna die as soon as I close this thing, aren't I? Yep. God damn it. Okay, let's try this again. And I'm gonna try and do this in a bit more of a clever way, hopefully. So, there is actually a trick with a. I'm not sure what adds that, it might be any eye. Uh, but if you have them on your hotbar and you press the numbers of where they are, then it will zap it straight into the crafting table. So uh, that, that's my plan. So I'm going to have the unstable ingots show up right there. And hopefully this will work. Maybe. Alright, iron divided by diamond. Here we go again. Alright, so, so I need to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I, I can do that, I think. Boom, grab that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Grab the thing. Yes! Nailed it! First try ish. Well, you know, at least I built a blast shelter and it didn't seem to like even break my light, so maybe I didn't really need to build this uh, bunker for it, but fuck it! <laughs> I now have a portal to the deep dark. Cool. Well, I can just go here now, since this is where my portal thing is eventually going to be. I'll probably just build one of these portals going to it anyway. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's go to the deep dark. And we're here. This is the deep dark. Pretty cool, isn't it? It's amazing. <laughs> uh, no, this place is actually pretty cool. Uh, so, oh, cool, yeah, it spawns you another portal to the deep dark. You just right-click on those to go between. Um, so we need to get to digging. So let's get right to that. Ah, here we go. Looks like we're here. Sweet. So this is the deep, the deep dark proper. Yeah, so uh, not a lot to see. But let's just dive bomb down there. Whee! And torch. Okay. Ooh, hello. Looks like we have a dungeon thing over there. And what the fuck? Is that an Emmy cable? Dude, what is going on over here? Uh, so I actually been here once before in the olden days, but what the shit? I haven't seen this before. I'd never actually seen one of these dungeons before either. I thought I'd be looking around for a long time before I found any of that. But what the hell is with the cable? Like seriously, what? Um, apparently it's connected up to something here. There's nothing there though. What the fuck? Okay. 
just just gonna stress this point. This is a single player world, as in no one else gonna put that here. As mechanism added something to the deep dark, because seriously that would be badass as fuck. And possibly terrifying. What the fuck is going on? What the f what? what? Whoa, what the hell? No, what? What was that about? Don't be tapping me. What? What? And it's got oak wood plank covers on it. And if I right click the cover, it turns to stone. If I right click the cable, it turns to stone. What the fuck is going on? What is going on? So, yeah, okay. So, for I'm guessing what's happened is like it's generated based on what world I have now. And some of the blocks haven't re regenerated properly. The mechanism stuff hasn't. That's really fucking weird. Like, okay. So there's just cable lying around, which isn't actually cable. If I touch it anyway, it, it just turns to whatever it's supposed to be. Like air or stone or whatever. Alright, okay. Anyway, <laughs> that's really odd. But yeah, it's basically sort of like spawned all the cable that I have in my base around here, even though it's not supposed to have done that. Weird. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, about the deep dark, and I'm totally going to explore that thing, by the way. Um, so this place is essentially incredibly plentiful in terms of ore. And that is the main reason you want to come here, for the most part, I think. Uh, just so you can dig around. And the main reason I wanted to do it is because um, most of the uh, cool ores and stuff that I kind of want, stuff like platinum, for example, hasn't actually spawned near me. Um, I think that was because it was in the previous update when I spawned in the world. I don't have a lot of the uh, the ores that got added in a later update. I'm just going to get away from these monsters. So uh, yeah, now that this is all freshly generated, I'll have all the uh, the new ores that came in the new um, update. And yeah, I'll be able to get them all with some advanced mining stuff. Uh, some words of caution about the deep dark though. Don't go in the dark. If I come out into the dark, you'll see what happens. Just give it a minute. No? You felt being nice today? What's up, man? Oh, what? What? Oh, there we go. Yeah. See, you start getting attacked by something. The Gru. Fuck knows what it is. It is the darkness itself. The darkness itself attacks you and kills you. <laughs> yeah, Deep Dark's not a wonderfully nice place, but as far as I know, there isn't any uh, new mobs. Apart from, well, apart from whatever is in the darkness that you can't see. Whoa. Yeah, I think in terms of normal monster, I don't think it adds any new ones. But, no. Sure, let's take a look around this dungeon anyway. Maybe we'll find some cool stuff. Jesus, zombies, be quiet. Banging on the doors is not going to help. Alright, anything cool in here? Ooh, some redstone ally. Cool. Pulsating iron. Nice. Ooh, a crowbar. Yay! Oh, well, yeah. Just a generic dungeon then. Fair enough. Um, and I could probably do some more torches before I can head back. Hmm. Ah, whatever. Let's just fly back. It'll be fine, probably. So yeah, that's the deep dark. There's um, a lot of ores and stuff in here, which is fun. Ooh, a Nora node too. Hmm, fun. So yeah, I'll probably set up a uh, digital miner or something here just to dig out a ton of uh, ores and stuff. And that'll get me some more of the uh, the new stuff that I don't have much of, because it doesn't let me dig. But back home. Well, that was fun. Made a pull to the deep dark, got blown up a few times, got some cursed earth that we can use for mob spawning. Awesome. But I think that's going to do it for this one. So thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm Mr. Trudel, and I'll see you in the next one. Catch you later.